Well, folks, we got a whole lot of UFO clips to talk about. Yay! Lock yourselves in the basement, hide your kids, hide your wives, and let's see if we can find a pet alien today to pet, essentially. I don't think it's gonna end up well, though, but roll it. Like the video, subscribe. So this happened during a solar eclipse, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How many of you guys saw the eclipse with your own eyes? I I, I was able to and falling out of the sky. And some people are reporting seeing mysterious uh, stuff. I remember seeing like some planes, but it was pretty normal. But now it's like you you see these clips coming out where multiple there are eyewitnesses capture something in the sky, different objects. What the heck is going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one you can say perhaps like a star, but this one is just like. I don't know about this one. What'd you think? Like a green alien, like just chilling, hovering there, ready to be pet. So the solar eclipse, we've had millions and millions of people looking up uh, during the moment as it mm -hmm. traversed across America. Everybody had their eyes and we anticipated a plethora of UFO activity just because people were peeled up to the solar yeah. eclipse. And there we go. Some people are even ca calling this the devil's comet. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Space debris, uh, maybe a crashing UFO, definitely unidentified and legit. This was seen by hundreds of people. Yeah, from the even this one is quite odd, but it's... Um but it can be a star, right? It really could be a star, but but it's definitely odd. This perspective of this event, the solar eclipse. Yeah, it was pretty crazy the whole couple days. It just happened, and we've just been uh, receiving videos, and we, we kind of wanted to make a good compilation tonight. And uh, tonight we're lot more. pretty much sharing the best uh, footage that's pretty much yeah. around right now. This is a, a good taste to UFOs that were seen next to a total... Uh, eclipse. What are we looking at? It looks like some sort of fire in the sky dropping. Dr. J. Dr. J. <laughs> you know, I'm glad you mentioned the solar eclipse. I've been saying this for months that we're going to see a bunch. Why? Because in 1991, when there was that solar eclipse in Mexico, more people saw a UFO at that single time than in the history of ufology. So I expected this. Now, at first, I thought this is possibly a meteor, but there's no smoke trail and it's going far too slow. What yeah, if yeah, it's yeah. a craft falling out of the sky? At one point it felt like that. It was uh, uh, going in, like, uh, it was going down, but then coming up. So down, but then up. So yeah, definitely we're... You know, that's what I'm kind of getting my brain wrapped around. Look at this. It's angles at different curvatures as, yeah. as it progresses down. And we have the side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, it's definitely getting a good close-up of whatever no, it's going down, is going yeah. on. I think the Dying. beam of the solar eclipse itself highlighted something that maybe you wouldn't have seen unless this eclipse was happening at this moment. I'm looking at this. It kind of seems and looks familiar to be pair, uh, pair jumpers with maybe flames coming off their, their back boots, but we're not seeing the separation. I wish we could see the whole video just to dismiss that uh, uh, theory. But then again, we're looking at something. These people don't know what it is, and that's why it's really... They're, they're probably going to say Chinese Lantern, you know, maybe. Exciting. Third Phase Moon's coming up with the best uh, videos yeah. tonight. Thanks for <laughs> okay, the comment. I, I don't know about that one, but... Thanks everybody. It looks good. Shout out to Third Phase Moon. Shout out to them. The shout out to them. I guess. videos during the eclipse and uh, Brent found uh -oh. a lot of them submitted to us right here at third phase moon and we're going to roll it tonight so let's uh yeah roll it log I guess. roll it next here so this is a looks like a moon is it from the solar eclipse too or so it's quite incredible as we look at this video and we're going to get a really close up on this yeah a disc shaped object during the eclipse appears eclipse uh, right there before the camera and in my opinion, again, we're not looking at anything manipulated. We're looking at something legitimate. The question is, is this reverse engineered alien technology? Uh, I don't see any means of propulsion. There's something going on here. And uh, again, the eclipse was maybe a moment that was a reason why some of these mm. videos are captured. Dr. J. Dr. J. Okay, before we let Dr. J speak, I want to say, bro, I think it's overdue right now. We are in 2024. Soon enough, we're going to be in 2025, maybe even 2050 by the time you're watching. 
Come on, let us know what's going on, bro. Like, I wanna one day be able to pet an alien. Bruh. I wanna be, yeah, like, uh, you know, uh, ditch a good boy, ditch a good boy. I wanna be able to pet an alien too. Like, don't you wanna pet an alien? Like the video if you wanna pet an alien one day, bro. You know, this reminds me again of the sport model that Bob Lazar talked about. Very seamless, very perfect, typical flying saucer. Clearly it's dark because of the shade from the, uh, the solar eclipse going on. And it looks like the waveguide or the gravity generators on the bottom i think this is a very fantastic uh, footage and sighting and the fact that it was witnessed by thousands of people is what's amazing about it and, and right now i'm wondering right like uh, so the fact that you're able to see the eclipse because initially it looked like moon to me but then i was like okay probably captured by somebody with solar lens on their camera makes sense uh, uh, so yeah right like the, so the, 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 yeah, so this thing uh, should have been quite bright or or maybe not maybe it was just lo looking like a normal ufo and uh, uh and now they're able to see it be fully black right now we just see the silhouette right probably that probably that what i like about it is you can see the person that was actually shooting this and then he, he got into focus and then right at that moment you see this thing just kind of dart from right to left as it moves along in the sky it's it's really cool capture it's we're really getting dark, a good yeah. close-up of this is this moving in some sort of abnormal fashion what is this could it be just a balloon it doesn't look like one it looks like it's actually traversing yeah uh it's odd it's it, odd it is it is definitely traversing and if it was a balloon you would expect it to change shape this does not change shape at all even when it's slowed down and zoomed in and definitely it seems to be traveling at an upwards angle too mm. no as i look at this uh once again it is as though it's like it, it want to go back to the space because uh, you know I I I cannot handle I cannot handle <laughs> cannot handle the solar eclipse and guys before we get to the next uh, clip here and we, before we get to the climax here uh, real quick I want to say if you want to help support the channel consider becoming a member by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button uh, it would help out a ton. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo boo. It's definitely high up there in altitude, and to guess what length of this craft is, I'd have to. I would have it's to gotta be a little big. It's at least about 20 to maybe even 40 feet in length. Gotta be big, but yeah. Again, it's interesting that it comes during the solar eclipse, like it wanted to be seen. People are looking up. What's your thoughts on that? About that, Doctor J. Uh, I think there. I think even the aliens uh, were like, okay, we need to see the eclipse too, bro. Just like the Earthlings. So probably that. I think that's exactly what happened. I think because of the solar eclipse, <laughs> these things came out for people to see them especially since people are becoming more aware of the fact that we're being visited by something or that we're being testing unknown technology but i don't think we're testing technology during the solar eclipse i yeah. think these are probably visitors or okay if you want to like uh, go in that direction then obviously then we can be here for days what if like the government is like testing these crafts and uh, the government is like okay uh, because normally, yeah, if they want to test, they wouldn't test it, like, when everybody's looking up, right? Especially then? Come on now, right? Like, you don't want to test that then. But what if it's not even about testing? What if it's about, like, okay, we, we need to really start ramping up the, uh, what's this called? The, uh, the sightings, right? So more people are talking about it, more people see this, uh, and we can get people ready for something. I don't know what, maybe, like, uh, uh, Project Blue Beam. We did two videos on it, and it's like whenever you search for it on YouTube, it's always this odd. Try like searching a Project Blue Beam and let me know what you see. Because whenever I search a Project Blue Beam, I don't find any videos though. And then it's like I search a Project Blue Beam, Scary X, which is the channel name, right? I don't even find my own videos. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Strange, isn't it? Right? Like this is uh, one of the quotes that <laughs> James from That Is Impossible says. Hashtag baffled, be baffled out here, bro. I was baffled. So what you wanna do is you wanna simply go back on the channel. Okay, this is my channel page. If you wanna catch up those videos, this is the best thing you can do. You can just search up blue, and perhaps you're gonna find. Yeah, this is one. Of, I have another one which is like 50 minutes long, and even. And that doesn't show up here at all. Strange, isn't it? Only this uh, Project Bluebeam video shows up, which is like a year old. But I have another one on the channel, which still does not show up, guys. Even when you search up this, which is just fairly odd. Let me just search a Bluebeam and let's see if I can find it. I don't find it, bro. That is insane. I might link it as, as an end screen 
Yeah, I'll link it as an end screen in this video, okay? Towards the end. I got you. You know, people are having their eyes on the skies, and again, millions of people are looking up across America, and what we're revealing tonight is a phenomenon. Not only the full solar eclipse, we have something going on in the skies during that same yeah. time in history. So it's interesting that people are submitting their videos, and we have a plethora of them for you. And Real Brent's rolling fake? up the next one. Brent, what What'd was your you thoughts before we put it to the world right now when he saw this for the first time, this video we're about to share? Yeah, it almost looks like something otherworldly. Some before we put it to the world. Something uh, mystical, almost you could say godlike. I really like this as uh, we're about to roll it. Check it out. Yeah, roll it. Holy crap. Yeah, so this is another one doing the eclipse. Now, I, I did a video just the other day, guys. Uh, and, and yeah, the, the videos and the, the, the footage that we saw, it was quite baffling to say the least. Because if you if you watch that video from me, you probably heard me say, I don't believe that, I don't believe that. But still, it kind of felt like that, yeah. But I still don't believe that. I'm inclined to believe these clips a lot more. I don't know. Uh, because these feel real, you know? Can still be fake, though. I mean, listen, we live in a time, an era where fake is just everywhere, right? So don't believe anything you see, but also don't dismiss it. That's kind of like the motto I live by. But 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 these videos uh, do feel quite quite realistic to me. Thoughts? Agree? Disagree? Illuminated disc-shaped object once again appears before the public, and we're looking at it right now. We see a series of lights from the top to the bottom, something in the middle, orbs, and it might opinion this isn't a reflection this isn't some kind of optical lens flare or cgi this is uh, something that was in the sky and again i think the solar flare itself in this lunar this solar eclipse showed something that maybe we weren't meant to see Mm. Yeah, this is incredible. Again, we're looking at a phenomenon that's just happening in this region of our planet. And it's just like, again, like you said, Blake, millions of people were out there looking and they captured something amazing. Again, what is this? Something uh, natural? Some something? Some people might even say Harper uh, Project Bluebeam. Dr. Yeah. J. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I will link you that video. Project Bluebeam video, guys. I will link you towards the end of this, okay? In an end screen. This one is crazy. It's, it it's again amongst the 13 states that had the total eclipse, uh, you know, the total solar eclipse. And this one at first, at first glance, because all those orange balls, they're not very uniform. I thought, well, they seem to be different craft or different drones or maybe some sort of, you know, optical illusion. But then when you look closer at it, you see the outline of the craft and all of these sort of spheres seem to be contained within this clear outline yeah good call as i'm looking at this a little closer i'm going to be adding a little bit of brightness contrast you can see that there is some structure that's supporting the lights around it again is this a massive kind of cloaked ufo in the sky some yeah disc bruh that bob lazar spoke about again it's just interesting with the solar eclipse and people are just looking up it just goes to show you when people are peeled to the skies the, the phenomenon's happening every day every single second uh 24 7. So nah, i wouldn't say every every second but i i get the i get the feeling uh it's like uh it's one of those quotes right the ufos are as real as the the, the, the planes flying o over your head so i'm really happy that this uh collage of UFOs during a certain event that didn't last long, and you can see the activity. It's mind boggling. Dr. Mm. J. Dr. J. Four minutes and 28 seconds was the entire time of the totality of the time that the sun was blocked out by the moon. For us here, uh, I'm in Montreal. So for us, uh, I believe it was two minutes, and it didn't even feel like two minutes. It was just so fast that it happened, we saw it, and then it's just like gone. It was uh, one of those like Fortnite event that happened in real life. <laughs> That's what I was calling it as. Uh, and like, come on, man. I wish it was longer. I, I I heard that in certain areas it was like for four minutes, and that's crazy, man. If you witness that for four minutes, hey, man, that's that's insane. For us, I, I believe it was supposed to be for two minutes. I don't even think it was for two minutes. I think it was for like one minute, bro. I think we got scammed, bro. I think we got scammed. And yes, for all this to be seen in all those different states, 
and in Mexico too. I think that's what's so fascinating about this. Um, again, I think also the fact that it's more brightly lit. If the sun was out, Bro. I don't think we'd see Bro. it as clearly. Well. I think only because it's yeah, I don't know why. Everybody's like, bruh. Everybody's always like, bruh. bruh. Yeah. Starting to get dark. Are we seeing those orange orbs illuminating the craft? Aliens! Yo. Yo, aliens, aliens, aliens. Again, more videos as it's coming in in real time. It's just yeah. This is a this is one of those videos that I was talking about in the last video that uh, I saw, and this video also went viral. And this is uh, one of those uh, most uh, believable videos, just because like. It has a lot of people on the ground, right, screaming aliens, aliens, UFOs, and all that when they see some move in the sky that looks and feel like a UFO. So this one has a lot more, like, let's just say cred credibility, but still, it doesn't mean that it, it cannot be fake. It still can be fake. It still could be a thing where somebody added, like, sound after. But, you know, this one feels a lot more real. It's, Thoughts? it's so plentiful of the activity, and we're looking at this in slow motion, enhanced. We see some kind of cigar-shaped craft just dart across uh, the cloud line at a uh -huh. high altitude. What the heck are we looking at here? <laughs> Could this be the best for last? Right now, we're looking at something just fantastic. It's amazing. We're seeing it traverse through the sky as it passes through the clouds right there. You yeah. can see the sun right behind it. And you can see it kind of reflect and uh, dodge Holy the shadows crap. off the clouds. That makes it super legitimate, in my opinion. These guys were stunned when they saw it. What do you make of this, John? This is actually really great. Uh, obviously, we're seeing, like you said, a cigar-shaped craft. So that's very unique in and of itself. Also, look closely at it. It doesn't look very, like, solid. It almost looks like it's half in this dimension, half in the other. Like, almost partly transparent. And uh, that's what makes it, to me, one of the most, the, the better of the sightings that we're seeing tonight. Because it's very unique and different. You know, when you bring up the Tic Tac, everybody says that it's this white shaped Tic Tac pill shaped yeah. craft. And we're looking at this and it has the kind of the same characteristics of a Tic Tac, but then it has this cloaking feature and this shadow that it, it just seems that it's uh, cloaking up there in the skies. And again, this isn't a bug or a kite. Uh, some people might say it's some kind of fast drone. It might be, but a drone that I've never seen before. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Guys, uh, this is that Project Bluebeam video that I, for some reason, YouTube don't want to show whenever you search. Click on this video on the screen. We did it a while ago, so but but still, it's it's very it's a very good video. Check it out and let me know your thoughts there for sure.